Hi, everybody. God, I love junk. <laughs> Flipping goonies, man. Oh, man. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to explain magic. Because I'm sitting here just running through it, and I'm just like, okay. Well, like, people that promote, you know, uh, removing spells and stuff. Here, uh, I'll get you all the the recipes, and you know, I'll, I'll I, I'm enough of a shaman. I can totally remove these spells for you, right? You know, you, they get these people. They get people frightened and hysterical because people in Tarot Land believe in this. So they, you know, people believe that voodoo. People do voodoo on each other. You know, we believe it. So it is true, right? So. People get hysterical, and what happens when we get hysterical? Well, we don't think straight. We just act out of survival. We get into our lower carnal mind, into that reptilian brain of ours. It's down low into the... Okay, so we get down our lower mind, and we're acting out of fear. Okay, that's not good. Okay, there's our friends and stuff in modern days. You know, yes, there are a few that are out there cooking shit in cauldrons and doing blood magic and ritual, ritual sex magic and stuff. There is that. There is. The occasional few, right? More than we think, but less than we would imagine. Okay? More than we think, less than we would imagine. Okay? So, magic isn't the crap on TV that they've made it out to be okay that's that's movies that's the hocus pocus of it all that's the the lights and the flares and the flashes and the cameras and yeah you know I couldn't resist superstar <laughs> I couldn't resist so you know it's that it's that you know it's all the flash and pizzazz you know that it's nothing like that okay it's subtle it happens slowly. Okay, it's spoken. It's written. It's acted. It, it's everything. It's magic is done through our senses. We 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 interact with the world through our senses, through our brain. We we our soul experiences this place second hand, third hand, even you could say, but. Magic is subtle. There, there's nothing to it. What it is, is it's spoken like music. Music is magic. In case you didn't know, music is magic. Have you ever noticed how a song could come on and change the whole feeling in the room and all of a sudden, man, I want to dance. Man, man get this stuff off, yo. And start jamming out, you know? Just... <laughs> so... You know what I mean? It's that. Do you feel that spirit come over you? And that song comes on. When your jam comes on, you start feeling yourself. You know what I mean? Like, that's magic. That's what magic is. It's a part of it. It's harmony out of chaos. It's magic. It's something only God does. He created in his likeness and his image. We act like him, and we look like him. But we were, when we were brought into the world by the God of form, we were divided, male and female. Everything in this world was divided because of the second law of duality, of the, the law of the second dimension of duality. So male and female, we were split. Everything was divided into hot and cold, but when everything comes back, it'll just be one again. Oh, man. Our Father is so amazing. Ain't God great? Ain't God just amazingly awesome, yo? Just, I don't know, everybody relates to him in a different word per culture. You know, everybody's got a different name for him, Shaw, you know. Everybody's got a different name, man. It, it, it's God, man. It's the one true creator, not... There are two a heads and a tails, but there is a middle road that goes someplace else. Our creator is amazing. 
amazing. You guys are all so beautiful. You guys know that? You guys are all amazing. I hope you guys know just how special you all are. Look past your shadow. You are not your pain. Quit seeing the world. Take off your glasses. Quit seeing the world through the, through the eyes of your wound. Set your wound down. You know, there's, there's many great meditations on YouTube for healing your inner child and, and inner wounds, you know, and it takes a while to, to find them. But that's the greatest magic of this world. It's the ability to heal yourself when everybody else who tried couldn't. And when everybody else told you you couldn't, God comes in and does it with you and does it for you. Helps you out the rest of the way. As long as you make the attempt to do it, I swear all I had to do is move halfway. He did it. I didn't do it, man. I'm just ashes and dust, and I'm just glad I survived it. Like, can't tell you how many times I tried to off myself in my life and should have been successful. Can't tell you how many times I should have died just by the company I keep. It's been a few times. I don't. I. I was actually surprised I made it home. That I made it out of where I was. Like, God is amazing, amazing. You guys, we're, we've been lied to so hardcore. Yes what has been taught in churches is true but it's just the milk that is just the tip of the iceberg they keep you coming back they know the truth they have the keys they don't enter nor do they allow us to they have the keys to the kingdom and they don't give them it's not you know what I had to find that actually I shouldn't be angry about it you know what I mean? I'm not angry about it because they don't have to tell us. They don't, just because they know something, they do not have to give us that knowledge. It's our job to seek it out. Because it was uh, the glory of God to conceal the matter. And it was the honor of kings to seek the matter out. It was the honor of kings to seek that matter out. Sorry, my phone's uh, done. So, I just, so we can't blame them and say that, you know, they're wrong, rah, 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 point our finger at them. No, it's our job to seek it out further all the way with the Holy Spirit within us. And he said not to ask them for anything, to ask the Holy Spirit. He said, come to me and I'll give you the answers. But we deny him within us. I hope one day soon we can all have a serious conversation about coming to the table. I don't know, I'm, I, I received this from the Holy Spirit today as I was doing a video this morning as I was just putting it together. I don't know, hashtag, hashtag bring your, bring your puzzle piece and meet me at the table. <laughs> Bring your puzzle piece to the table. I think we can do it. I really, I believe, I believe in the human race. I totally believe in our species. We can do this. I really think we can do this. Look, they keep us so divided by race by sports, by religions are divided. There's 38,000, okay, that's, I think we're up to 43 or 44,000 different denominations of Christianity alone. Alone. Denomination. What does that word mean? Denominate. To divide. How many divisions are there? Is another way to say that. They've sown discord amongst the brethren. And they continue to do it through the news, 
and media, through music, through uh, art, through subliminal messaging, through superliminal messaging, uh, blatant racism, and just the crap that we fill our consciousness with. And what's worse, we fill our children's with it too. I cried for weeks. Shit, I still cry, man. My father opened my eyes, man, to a lot of things and just... We don't know how wrong we can be. We really don't. I didn't know I was so wrong. I would have never thought. Everybody else was wrong. I was reacting to how they were acting. And, uh, and I never noticed that, well, that was my problem. Because all of my reactions became actions at some point. And that was what my actions consisted of. I may have started out an, an empath in this world, but I became the narcissist. There is hope. I'm happy to say I'm not a narcissistic person anymore. Thank you, Father. But it's something like addiction, like it's something like that. You like, you gotta stay on it. You know, that crap of, oh, well, you're an addict, you're always an addict. No, no. There's, have, if you've ever read studies on neuroplasticity, the brain rewires itself. It's about, re, it's about making new super highways in your brain. Instead of thinking automatically for every stressful, stressful situation, I wanna, I want to flip in, I want to snort a line of coke, you know, every time I'm just frustrated. You know what I mean? I just want to numb up. I want to shoot a flipping syringe full of heroin. You know what I mean? I want to numb up every time I'm frustrated. Okay, or I want to take a Xanax or a Valium every time I have an a anxiety attack. I live anxiety attacks for weeks on end. Uh, I've been doing it. That's when my shadow comes up. See, I don't know, I don't know how not to go too far with my anger. So I, I would just bottle up my anger and not, not put it out at all. Well, that poisons you inside and it comes out. Things that we suppress come out in our subconscious, in subconscious ways that we can't control. And that's how we just have blind rage instead of anger or, or even righteous anger. There is things called righteous anger. It's mentioned in the Bible many times. You know. But I noticed in me that wasn't righteous anger because it led me to unrighteous acts. It was rage. Blind rage. I'm still learning to control my anger. Uh, I, I found I was a monster. I accused it. I was accusing everybody else. I had my finger just pointed out all the time, accusing the whole world of being monsters. And I was the only one who wasn't. You know, sadly mistaken that wasn't the case. A good majority of us are monsters, but there is hope. I'm not special, not at all. I am seriously just ashes and dust. I am nothing. I have nothing. And yet he, uh, I've literally done the most wrong things to people manipulated and, and stole and lied my way to any, I know, I don't think I ever made it to the top, so to any position I could get, to any juxtaposition I could get, and yet, he still chooses me. He still tells me to get up every morning and come to the table. I don't know why. I really don't. I don't know what the hell he sees in me. I 
I've never ever you know that like despair for life like life's just hopeless like there's no reason to even get out of bed but yet we get out of bed because well I like to get high and so I go to work to get my money to you know so I have a house so you know what I mean the the things that we need you know we just force ourselves to go through the motions I never knew what it felt like to live because I've lived in that all my life. I don't think I've ever known anything else but that despair for life, that contempt, utter contempt for my life. Just why did you even create me? So you could watch me suffer? Is this like amusement to you? That literally, I had to ask God that. I was literally just crushed. I'm I really, you know, this is where I lived at for 35 years. I don't ever remember a time where I didn't look upon life in this perspective. In this perspective, and I know that's where everybody else is, because that's where I'm coming from, and I just barely made it out of there. Some days I'm still there. Some days I have to crawl my ass back out of that. Don't give up. It's worth it. I promise. I promise it's worth it. All the sacrifices I've made. All the people I've lost. They're not in the picture anymore. The ones that have died, the ones that have, you know, stuck dead in prison, or the ones that just, you know, I can't be around, you know. I hear they come back around after they've gone through their transformation. Or or they come back around so you can help them through their, their transformation. It's worth it. I don't know, I have, I, I'm sure there's still so much left for me to see that, you know, I know I'm not where I'm supposed to be yet, but I know that I'm working my way there. I know God is alive. You ever, you like, you ever hear somebody say, God's alive, and you look at him and you go, where? What are you talking about? Where is God alive? Tell me. Tell me where he is. You know? Because that's the feeling I had for a long time. Well, where then? You know, if God's alive, then where is he? Because I don't see it. You know? And we tell ourselves, you know, we try and have hope. Yeah, we have hope. We have hope. I don't think we know what hope is. I thought I had hope for 30 years. And literally, I found that, like, no, I had dead faith and dead hope. It was dead inside I know that's how people feel. Because we're all the same. Just for different reasons. Can you guys take your damn masks off? You don't need to wear them. I get it, COVID's a big thing. I mean your, I mean your spiritual mask. Like I've heard of a lot of pain from that. I haven't been personally affected by COVID, but... I know a lot of people have, and they've lost a lot of people, and I don't ever want to offend anyone in that matter. But your spiritual mask, your the mask that we wear when we're with people, and you know, like for work we wear a mask, and for this person we wear we wear this mask, and for that person we're this person, and for this person we're this person. Just be yourself. Just be who God needs you to be. Unapologetically. You know, I couldn't look in the mirror without having a mask for myself to look at me. I didn't know who I was. Man.
but I know now. And every day is a discovery of that specific thing right there. Who is CJ? Because I know who I'm not. I know damn well who I'm not. But I live with a new zest for life, a new pep in my step, new little skip, finding out who I am every day. I'll tell you what, all it changes, all that takes, all that it takes to change is your mind and the way you feel about it. Get them to line up together. Get them to think as one. Do what you feel and think about what you feel, you know, and why you feel it. You guys are so beautiful. You guys are worth more than silver and gold. So much more. So much more that like, I was given the choice, well you can hide out, what do you wanna do? Like I'll give you what you want, you've worked so hard. I just want my, I just want my fellow brothers and sisters to experience the God that I've experienced. To know that he's alive. That it's, it's not a joke. It's not just going to church and singing songs and singing kumbaya with everyone. There's so much more to it. He's a God that's alive and makes you feel alive. Just as alive as he is. God's not dead. And neither are you. I love you guys. I think 22 minutes is long enough. I don't want to make everybody watch long videos. But, you know, thank you guys for, you know, listening. And I hope that this helps you guys. And just, I don't know. I don't know why my father tells me to make these. But, I don't know. Hopefully my kids will use them later down the road when they, when they figure it out for themselves. After they've experienced enough. I love them little guys. Man, all of all of my kids. Kids are amazing. Treat your children well. You regret it later on if you don't. I'm serious, even all the little things. When it all is said and done. We regret those little things too. I wish I would have done. Don't ever, don't ever make yourself say those words. Live to the fullest extent. Don't hold back. You guys have a wonderful evening. God bless. Love and light.